Part 1. The use of letters in algebra. You will find this on page 78 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 8 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. The use of letters. In the above machines, each machine contains the same number of suites. How can we represent the total number of suites in four such machines? If each machine has 20 suites, the total number of suites in four machines could be written as 4 multiplied 20, because it's 20, 20, 20, 20, four times. If each machine has 30 suites, the total number of suites in four machines could be written as 4 multiplied 30. Therefore, if we let n be the number of suites in each machine, then the total number of suites in four machines could be written as 4 multiply n. In arithmetic, we manipulate numbers that have def definite values, but in algebra, we use symbols to represent numbers. So we are using a symbol, an alphabet letter, to represent the number of suites in each machine. The symbol generally used are the letters of the alphabet. It can be an A, a B, a C, up to the letter Z. A letter can represent any possible numerical value. In the above example, the letter N in 4 multiply N might take on the value 20, 30, or any whole number. We call N a variable or unknown. And 4 multiply N, an algebraic expression. Very important. 4 multiply N, you don't see an equal sign. It's just an expression, and that's why we call it an algebraic expression.